I was traveling deeper into the dark place. The poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps, like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy. A curse looming over me. <clears throat> I got all the way back up here before I realized I left my water downstairs. Can't move. Well, I certainly didn't get all the TV stuff, but I got most of it. Now I can move. <coughs> what happens when I do this? Nothing. I did go back and get it. It's sitting right over here. There's a light shift at the screen. No, there's not. Lion ass. I believe you that we could just dead ass sit and watch this whole movie. Auntie's the janitor, 10 out of 10. Handed all the Oscars. That is a fun fact. Locked doors behind the screen, huh? Oi. Excuse me. I haven't seen what the lobby looks like under the Grandmaster setting. <clears throat> I had a feeling this is where the echo was. Looking for the cult of war. There wasn't enough alcohol in this city to drown the memories of this nightmare, but I damn well try. This case would never be closed. I had more questions now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. Remind me on my last stream ever, I want to have credits. I want to have end credits. I feel like we got most of what was here. That could be a word of power, but frankly, I just... I can't bring myself to do it, to go all the way back up there. That's too much. My writing was affecting reality. That's true. Can't be my last dream ever if I just die in the chair. What's this? Trauma pad, locked door, point of interest, echoes. Where are they insinuating that these echoes are hiding? 
right in front of me and right down the street. Unless they're on the rooftops. But I sure as shit don't see them. Yeah, it says there are two echoes out on the street. But I don't see shit. That'll be fun trying to figure out what my credits would be. List Rick as the pant eater. Trying to look it up. We just saw the dot. Oh, you do see it. Oh, you slick bitch. Something kept me going. Good catch, chat. A broken man. No hope, no prospects, no love. Too stubborn to die. Like a cockroach with a misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. <sighs> that was one of them. What's this other one? Oh man. I see part of it. Anybody see the black orb? Maybe it's from on top of that building. I ran through here awfully fast. Maybe I should give myself a chance to actually investigate. The door wouldn't budge. I ran through here panicked as a motherfucker. Maybe there's a way to get on the roof. <clears throat> it looks like there's a break over here in the fence line. Why is this breaking the fence line here if there's not like a ladder or something? That ladder from earlier was on the other build. It was on a different building. It was over here. And we actually figured it out. There was, it, it was meant to go somewhere. It was meant to go somewhere. It was just, uh, we weren't on the right setting for it. See if we can find a way up. Yeah. Are you a real boy?
fucking thing looks weird. Hold on. There's no reason they'd leave this open and not give us something to do. Can I see the back of that door? Oh, shit. Let me in! Let me in! Also, I need batteries pretty bad. Did I get it? There's gotta be more. I don't even know what's in there. Oh my god, that's what I was looking for? I guess it doesn't ever let me truly run out of flashlight. I just have to wait for it to recharge, I guess. Hey, tall boy. Oh shit, this is a breaker room. I didn't realize that. Nope. I hear baddies, so I'll shut the door. I am not gonna get murdered while talking to Gray. Hey man, how was school? normal yeah yeah we got your thing at four so i'll i'll be doing that with you instead of mom yeah I know. okay so um, also uh because we've been putting it off for way too long uh i am i have now decided that instead of periodically reminding you to get to, to the point to schedule airsoft uh excursion i am now going to be pestering you at this time every day, I shall come up here and just be like, airsoft what? Hell if I know, dude. That's your, your mom's the scheduling person. I just pay for everything. I'll talk to her. Yeah, I was going to say, she's the one with the family calendar. You want to talk about stuff that happens on this side of the door? I'm your man. You want to talk to somebody who knows what happens on the outside of the door? That's mom. Yeah, she'll be damned. Well, yeah. Still asking for birthday presents. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Yeah. So anyway, I guess we found another breaker room. Hey, you're Alan this time, right? Just making sure. It's me, Tim. You ran into Scratch, didn't you? My double. Well, it's hard to say, but he sure looked like you. It was weird because I heard that you got out of this place. I guess that was just a rumor. Anyway, I'm just doing my thing, still looking for Dor. I've got a new theory on that front. I had a birthday when I was his age. I've told this story before. I had a birthday when I was his age where earlier in the year for my mom's birthday we had a long drive to school 13 miles we had to drive to get to school right so we'd leave early and the morning radio dj would always do morning birthday shout outs so for my mom's birthday in october my sister and i were all cute and we did it happy birthday to marcia for their kids ryan and leah month later november comes it's leah's birthday we get in the car we're on the drive morning radio show uh happy well first of all we convinced her that we didn't she was like oh i can't wait to hear my name on the radio and we went oh no we forgot to call and she was like oh my god i'm so heartbroken and we were like wink and then we got in the car and they were like happy birthday leah from your mom and your brother and she was like oh you got me and then my birthday in may came along and i got in the car and said man i can't wait to hear my name on the radio and they went, oh shit. <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay, yeah, you forgot. And they got to the end of the radio broadcast and they went, and those are our May 11th birthdays. Thanks everybody. And I was like, you motherfuckers actually forgot. Damn.
So that was like my shittiest birthday from that age. What was my devil doing? Did he have a manuscript with him? I need to know. But he didn't have anything. No, no, he had a cocktail and he was smoking. He wasn't like you said he'd be. Very, very touchy-feely. He wore leather pants. You know, he was actually looking for you. Talking about Zane? Asked the same question about the manuscript. And then he asked if I was going to a costume party and if he could come. Like, I told him this wasn't a costume and he ran off. I guess he doesn't like cops. That wasn't scratch. Yeah, burgers from anywhere that's not Arctic Circle. What's this new theory? It's a lot, so buckle up. You have your doubles. And I keep dreaming about other versions of me, right? Now, this makes me think there must be other realities besides ours. But ours is connected to the rest of them. Dora might even be a part of the reason why. She seems to be the only constant, but what does he want? What's he planning? Sorry. Hm. You've got your own problems. Sometimes I think I'm going crazy trying to make sense of this. You know, maybe this whole thing is much bigger than what we're able to see. Or everything I just said is bullshit. <laughs> Who knows? Jesus. That's a whole street map of the dark place. Yeah, we're gonna have to get him another whiteboard. Unfortunately, that was not the way up to this roof. Oh, that's batteries in there. Shit. I hope these guys aren't real combatants because I need these batteries. All right, so now I think in a leisurely manner, we can kind of work our way over. I wanna see this echo. In a leisurely manner, I think we can work our way over to Parliament Tower. I feel like Alan's shit's starting to come to an end. Not to an end in, but I mean, like, I feel like we're reaching towards the end of his thing. Where we're gonna have to bring everything together. So there was a locked door over here. Where was that? We get up and go around, maybe? Well, there's nothing in some of these. Damn. How do I get up there? Scary. I just don't know how to get on top of the car wash. I'm actually going to Google that. Get on top of car wash, Alan Wake 2. That doesn't help me at all. Working at the car wash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Working at the car wash, yeah. Let's do uh car wash. God damn it. I was, I was like, bitch, they got me in the pause screen. I genuinely thought they got me in the pause. I thought they got me in the pause screen. Oh, shit. Sidewinder, thank you. Kind of. Like, kind of thank you. I'm awake, I swear. I'm not sleeping, mommy. I won't lose a lot of sleep if we don't get this one, but... I mean, we're standing right here, so just how do we get up there? There's so many fucking echoes, dude. I hope we got most of them, because I'm not going back for these. Jesus, Sidewinder, thank you.
from checking the maps on these. Jesus, God help us. Um, Oh, I think this one just requires me. It's not getting on top of this building. It is getting on top of that building and then looking this direction. There should be a ladder back here. That was all I, yeah, that was all I needed. I just needed to know, this was super easy. I'm just move. I'm trying to move forward at a pretty good clip, and it's keeping me from seeing easy things. I think this was the only re the, like I couldn't figure out the reason we were allowed to get up here. I walked in a big ass circle. Yeah, there we go. I walked in a big ass circle and then left. They say God made us in His image. <laughs> just like us, He is an uncaring, cruel son of a bitch. Having made it in heaven, He doesn't want us there dirtying up all that nice white upholstery and he doesn't want to reach down to help us he gets his kicks just binge watching us struggling hurting killing dying screwing it up again and again lazily stirring it up when things threaten to get too placid this city is only here to satisfy his sick voyeuristic pleasure All right, I feel better now that I know what this area was for. Before we go down there. Oh, we're in the Poet Cinema. No, we're done with that. I might have missed a word of power, but I'm not going back for it. There's no way. I got my inventory slots. That's really what I want. Now that we're on street level. We're going to Parliament Tower. Echo. I don't know what the fuck that is, and frankly, I don't care. I'm gonna grab this one Echo outside Parliament Tower, man, but then we're gonna pop in. We really haven't missed all that much. Hell yeah, we've missed an awful lot of, like, boxes of stuff, but half of them are empty, and once you run out of stuff, the game just starts handing you free stuff off kills so that you don't go resource depleted. the bitch on you the phone was ringing again somehow I sensed it wasn't Zane this time Zane. It wasn't Scratch either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. The dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. 
Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? That's the European sit, uh... That's the... How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. I follow the steps he laid out for me. Alice's photos from the talk show building basement. Adi had guided me there. I bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue. That's the European sound for when a line is disconnected. It's just one of those little things that they miss. The American sound for a disconnected line is way more irritating. Anybody see the black dot? Maybe looking at Parliament Tower, maybe. Yeah, I just needed Alan to shut his damn mouth for a second. Yap, 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 yap. Fuck me, man. Riders. Let's see if I can find this echo real quick. Oh, jeez. The one on Ocean Avenue. Maybe it's one of the first ones you're supposed to find. Aldera Street. Parliament Tower. That's inside Parliament Tower. Yeah, that's the one. Walk down the street and you'll find the echo right away. I think he's talking about from, I think they're talking about from this studio. Oh, there it is. Excuse me, fellas. Can I borrow this for a second? Nope. Oh my god. Are you for real? Little bitches. something together I was gonna get the truth out of Zane with whatever means necessary all right I feel pretty comfortable moving on now
It forced me to switch. I have nothing to do. Maybe that was just its way of making sure that I was caught up on Saga Anderson before I came here and stared down Parliament Tower. Maybe that was its way of insisting that I switch timelines back. It's closed. No. Or maybe the this is as far as we can down. take this. Closed up. Something was wrong. Without Saga helping us Something from the other side. Missing. I had to get inside. <laughs> well, no shit, you had to get inside. Oh, this is really it. We really, uh, God damn it, that's more for chat than for me, but it still gets my attention. I hope there's a rift now, because if I fuck that up, I'm gonna be sad. Well, now I gotta go find, uh... Thank you, Sidewinder. I love that one. It usually gets chat more than it gets me, and I, I appreciate that. It was meant for chat? Hell yeah. It also gets Dark Costco pretty damn good. All right. Well, it is insisting that we push this story forward. So I guess we're walking to the sheriff's department. This goddamn thing. All right, in game time. The game insists. Not what I meant to do. Ready to go? This is the beginning of the end game. To travel to Cauldron Lake, you need to save your game first. Exploring and traveling to other areas will be limited if you choose to continue. I'm ready to head to Cauldron Lake now. Let's get the plan started. Okay, here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? I'll head to Cauldron Lake with the clicker. Scratch, we'll try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. Estevez, is there a way to get that light array to the lake? Oh, I've got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson. What's the plan for that? I'll make some calls on the way. Just meet me at Cauldron Lake. Let's walk back to the car. Tor, I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. Hell yeah! The tour bus is already loaded, and we've said our goodbyes. Ready to hit the road, just like the old times, baby. You saw this coming, huh? Of course. The tour bus. I need a song about Alan Wake. About bringing him out of the dark place. A writer. A lake of darkness. Bringing him into the light. <laughs> it writes itself. I hope they've still got it. Pick up, pick up. David. Please pick up. David. David! 
It's me. You, David. Stop. For once, you need to listen. You left me. You took my daughter away from me. Then you let her... She's dead because of you. And I don't ever want to hear your voice again. Stop calling me. David! Jesus Christ. That was brutal. It's getting worse. It's spreading. I'm running out of time. All right, well, let's get to the lake. Uh, fastest way down there, probably this way. Which means heading this way. Maybe not this way. Which means heading this way. We are no longer here looking for lunch boxes. We are no longer here looking for nursery rhymes. I can't leave here yet. Oh. Lots of work left to do. Well, I wasn't trying to get you to leave. Damn it. All the hell. I was like, ooh, cutscene. Nope. Just the game telling me to back my shit up. What am I missing? What is going on? Is it forcing me? Dude, did it drop? I think it dropped debris to keep me from getting through that part of the map. So I have to now, now I have to walk the long way around. There better be some dynamite plot points in here. Because I swear to God, if you did that just so you could force me to walk through enemies. We're incoming with the lights, Anderson. Where do you want them? Set them up on the shore. We need to be ready if Strat shows up. All right, that's why they made us come this way. Just so we can see shit like that. Hey, friend. Can you find me? <laughs> that shit made me look to my right. I hate that one. That must be Torn Odin. Nice. Maybe I should check in. Kiddo! We're almost at the gig! And Odin's run over four minions of darkness! The boss is our hammer! I'm trying to in! I need you to meet me at the shore. Is the song ready? There we go. Who the fuck puts a tree in the middle of the road?
That was an ominous sounding noise. Oh, I see it. Bitch, that's my grandpa. <laughs> Right in your demon dick. Fucking monsters. A good reload animation actually kind of makes me want to like go to a shooting range. Whoops. I should probably not walk around here all hurt and shit. I don't think that tree fell as a no return. I think that tree fell to keep me from going to like the witch finders, whatever. Which way am I following the bus now? There we go. I guess I'm going up here. The lights in the containment cell are good to go, Anderson. Great. You did, Aaron. It was for an old stash yet? that we've opened already. Two golden oldies? Well, they're here. And they bought moonshine. I love them already. <laughs> they're a lot. You wanted to know what art we would use? Well, that's them. I'll be there soon. One, two. One, two. How you feeling tonight, Cauldron? <laughs> This is my boomstick. in a hurry the power supply is spotty your partner here will try to keep it running but I, i'm not a damn mechanic i wish your tech guy was here karen we'll play we'll this play at maximum volume Just like Just old like times, old right, bro? Right, bro. Fighting, Fighting the forces of, force of darkness with heavy metal! I think... Kiddo! Kiddo. We're ready to ready rock, to and, roll. rock and, roll. and roll! Just say Just when! Say when. I think that's it. <clears throat> All right. 
You know what? Uh, uh, fucking fuck it. How you assholes gonna bring empty crates out here? Nothing to it but to do it, lads. Grandpa, you signal me when the song is done, and I'll use the clicker to bring Wake back. Hit it! Hello, Cauldron Wake. Great to see so many federal agents here tonight. Prepare to experience a soul-searing, mind-frying act of black magic and sorcery! This storm goes out to our favorite tortured writer. Let these sweet tunes guide you out of the darkness. It's called Dark Ocean Summer Name. Bro, <laughs> uh, let's try that again. <laughs> Survive the summoning ritual. Damn it. Just don't I don't always know exactly like when when they were saying like I'll keep them in the light of I was thinking to myself like does that mean that they'll never have the armor on it? Turns out yeah they absolutely have armor on them. I also didn't know where they were all coming from. Me there.
Jesus Christ. <clears throat> All right. Uh... Squeezing the trigger so hard right now, Jesus. We have a hard stop at 340, which is still a half hour away. Hard as shit. What is going on, dude? The number of times I've pulled the trigger and nothing has happened. Oh, that's like three times that's happened now that I pulled the trigger, no bullet. I pulled the trigger, no flare. It's like if I cycle too quickly through the weapons, it locks up.
I was slamming the shit out of the R2 button. Nothing. Fucking awesome. I want a t-shirt. Show's drawing a crowd. Thank you, Sidewinder.
amazing how much easier that section is when the right trigger activates each time you pull it. What happened? Why didn't it work? I did everything right. Art to bring him back? Clicker to make it real? So where the fuck is he? Parliament Tower. It was back. Yeah, as I say, maybe y'all should have gotten a dive team pulled together. Even Thomas Zane had a fucking, uh, full diver's costume. He's gonna float up here anytime now. I'd been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different. Like my last chance. It wasn't already too late. Nobody anymore. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Fuck you! Scratch was mm. writing his horror story. There was still time to stop him. I needed to get inside. I wonder if that's like DLC or something. Or like second playthrough type stuff. God damn, my heart hurts from how I just fucking jumped. These goddamn jump scares, man. Alright, there's nothing left to do here. Let's just get in. There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. decision most of you won't understand people call me an artist but I don't care about any of that I just wanted to show the world what I see I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. 
from artist to art. Alice Wake took her own life shortly after completing her work on The Dark Place. She will be missed, but will live on through her art. What follows are her final photographs. God damn, this got intense fast. Oh god, she jumped legs first? That's some midsummer shit right there. Alice was dead. Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. I had seen this before. Yeah, we were on the other side of this not too far this back. Not scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. Damn. It's a good song, but we got things to do. It's a very chipper fucking gamer achievement. Same person. He's here. Scratch. Watch out, Anderson. Estevez, Scratch is 
awake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it and blast it with all you got. Hit him, Estevez! That thing's slow as fuck. I gotta lure him away. Oh my god, there's a second light. Get the fuck out of here, really?
Wait. Is it you? I'm so sorry. Did it work? Well, shit. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, folks, but it's official. Tear Fest is canceled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less bright. I've heard that song so many times now. Tom, we need to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom. I'd seen it all play out, like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. Where'd the lads go? Hello? Welcome back, Wake. You are Wake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he is the clicker. Scratch. The Dark Presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Ah. And her With the power of rock and roll. Gotcha. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. Well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. You're trying to tell me that the, the Department the of Control has the parking lot. a shotgun, a flare gun, and a pistol? And that's it? That's... That's the entirety of what you got for me, huh? 
You know what? No, there's gotta be something out here. Damn, they really blew that fucking containment unit up. I guess we'll be taking Saga's car. They didn't leave anything out here for me, so... I just want to make sure, at this rate, I'm just all freaked out about, like, is there a collectible? I need Jesse Faden here, like, yesterday, man. I need Jesse and her fucking freaky deaky gun here, flying through the air, throwing craters, or throwing awake again. boulders and shit at the scratch. time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice, take it from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. Neat. You drop something for me, bud? Because I don't have a whole lot of stuff here. I have no healing, so I should probably not get hit anymore. Guess we're not going that way. Time to see how well I remember the route back to the car. Isn't that sweet? Baby, that's me. That's that me espresso. Spin it all around, move it up, down, left, right, like Nintendo. That fucking light went out behind me. I heard it. Shits can't figure out a fence. In the deep place, the dark presence went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was hunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over, turned me into scratch. I'm shocked to say that those dipshits couldn't figure out a fence. The best defense. The best defense is a good A fence. I'm fucking stuck. There we go. I had to get to Bright Falls. See the Yeah, yeah. No, I, I believe you. Chat, wherever this pops me out, if it says game saved, I gotta get the hell out of here. I do have a thing that's happening in 20 I minutes. Saga Anderson into the story to help me escape. She succeeded. 
It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice with no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. This is definitely where the game needs to end. I hope it's it not like- me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead because of me. I hope it's not like Alien Isolation where it's got like three different again, endings. This time knowing the cost all too well. the dark place here with me i never had gotten out maybe after this i finally could it was a fool's hope i had no choice i had to do it that didn't make me any less terrified This is not what I expected. Return shines a light on its author's brilliantly dark mind. Rose? Hello, I'm Ilma Koskova, and welcome to the Koskova Brothers Book Club. This week, we will review the highly anticipated new novel by Alan Wake. Return is printed on a firm, high-quality white offset, uncoated paper stock, making every page a true delight to turn your finger to. Alan Wake's brilliance is on full display with his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium enamel stock with gloss lamination that is both tasteful and pleasant to the touch. Isn't that right? Oh no! Yako! Wake set a high standard with his previous novel, but I can say without hesitation that Return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. How about you? Oh, it's so sad. There you have it. Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Costco Brothers Book Club. Cheers. The weight and the paper stock, that's all they reviewed in the blurb on the back. I needed to copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. I was inside Scratch's ending. A perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around Return. As if it had just been published. That's the dude from the retirement home.
Ilmo. I need a copy of the book. There we go. I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. Sick, sick story. Shit. Don't get touched. I still don't have the. I'm supposed to be doing a, a, a virtual chat with Grayson and his psychologist at four, but I I don't have the link for it yet. So like, I'm just gonna keep going until I'll call Amber real quick. Like I'll just dead ass call her and we'll see what's what. I don't really know, uh, there's nothing I can do. I don't know the name of the place. I don't know the, the contact information. So I guess I'll just sit here and I'll wait for the telecall link to show up. They're supposed to be sending it to me. I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go to rewrite the ending of Return. Sick. I had the book now. I could write my ending to return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel return come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. Is the writer's room at the retirement home, maybe? I don't have any weapons. I needed to reach the writer's room, write a new conclusion. Was Scratch's insecure need for fame, for praise, drawn from my psyche? I would bring his sick fantasy crashing down around him. Yeah, the writer's room is inside. Crazy. I don't have any weapons, so... I was ready for you, bitch. I had to find another way inside. I was ready for you this time. You rat bastard. Eat my entire balls. That's that me espresso. Nope, not the basement. Are they gonna make me go all the way through the fucking thingy ding ding? It looks like that's the only reason I can think of that they would possibly light up this door and nothing else. Uh huh. Alice. What was that? Foreshadowing. Was, dead. was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? Save 
safe room. Kiss my ass. Right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself. No matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Upstairs. I have underestimated the Rose. The room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. Help me, RT. Hey. Oh, <laughs> I called it. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest pulp. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Couldn't have said it better myself. Comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ati. I was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right.